What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and welcome to my top nine iOS 9 features. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you nine of the best things Apple's done to iOS 9. While it appears the firmware itself has not changed much visually, there actually is a lot going on underneath that skin. And in this video, I'm gonna be highlighting nine of the best features. All right, so to begin, Siri. Not only has Siri received a new look based on the styling of the Apple Watch, Siri is now smarter. She can do a lot more thanks to proactivity. So what proactivity is is it's deeply ingrained with spotlight search in iOS 9 as well as all of your applications so Siri can do a lot more for example say you're reading an email and you ask Siri remind me of this later she'll be able to do that now and she can even remind you based on location and time so Siri can now understand context and this is the new look of Siri it's absolutely beautiful so when you actually talk to her these little lines of different colors exactly like the Apple watch will appear down here it's absolutely gorgeous and it definitely makes sense in iOS 9. Now, one of the examples that Apple used that I really liked was, Siri, remind me to remove the coffee from the top of my car. And Siri will actually be able to know when you're in the car and it'll be able to tell you, hey, go ahead and remove your coffee from the top of the car so it doesn't spill. That was really cool. Now, basically, Siri is now aware of location, of context. It's a lot smarter and with time, you'll be able to know a lot more, a lot more of Siri's tricks that she can now do. Apple Pay has been revamped. Now there's a ton of new support for many small businesses thanks to a new Square Car Reader. It's been renamed to wallets, which is quite interesting inside. It looks very similar and it can actually support a lot of loyalty cards for certain stores. So you don't have to carry around a ton of them inside of your wallet. And with a growing expansion of Apple Pay, you'll have no worries about support very soon. Now there's actually support for Discover cards as well. So 50 million people that didn't have that support before now do. There's also Pinterest buyable pins, which is an interesting integration for Apple Pay. And there's now Apple Pay inside of the UK in a certain amount of retailers for now, but it will grow in the future. Really nice additions to Apple Pay. Now we have spoken and Apple has listened. There is now a dedicated low power mode inside of your battery settings, which is a new category inside of your settings. So you can enable it and this will reduce certain system functions. Your actual meter over here will turn yellow and this will reduce speed of your internet, your mail refresh, your screen brightness, background app refresh. Apple even said there's a ton of things that we don't even know about that it does in the background, which will allow you to get about three hours of extra battery life when you're on this mode. Now, aside from that, Apple did improve the battery life in iOS 9 as well. You can now get up to an hour of more battery life on an iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now, they didn't say for older devices, Devices, but I assume that is better for them as well. Now, the thing I like about low power mode is that it doesn't completely cripple your device. When you enable it, you can still use your phone as a phone. It'll just limit some of the minor things. I mean, when you're running low on battery, why would you mind? It's not like it's permanent and you don't have to go ahead and toggle everything yourself. It'll enable all of that for you in one place. Absolutely great. That came in Android first, but it is welcome to see that Apple has finally listened and added it to iOS 9. Now, iPad users on iOS 9, you guys are the lucky ones because iPhone iPhone users and iPod Touch users will not be receiving these features, which are amazing. I don't see why Apple limited them to the iPad, but here is Slide Over, which will be available on all iPads starting from the iPad Mini 2 and up and from the iPad Air and up. So anyways, if you're actually inside of an application, say I'm inside of the new Notes app and I slide over, you now have this tab. Now in here, you can actually swap between certain applications. So um, let's say I wanna be in notes and browsing the internet at the same time. So in here, go ahead and click on this guy and it will bring a little slide view over so you can adjust it. And it's pretty much a thin view of the application. It is multitasking, but it's not full multitasking. The iPad Air 2 will be able to support the full split screen view. So you can actually adjust it. And hmm, where did we see this before? It reminds me a little bit of this jailbreak tweak, but anyways, you now have full access to both applications and they can both be run at the same time so one person can be over here on this side another on this side doing their own thing and it'll work just fine this is true multitasking finally on the iPad Air 2. All other devices will be restricted to just slide over where it'll just be a view of another app right here and you can swap them, but it will not be a full split screen view. Now alongside that split screen view, we now have picture in picture video. So you can be doing your own thing and have a little video down here of whatever video you were playing. And the way it works is when you're playing a video, any video on your device, you just click the home button and then it appears in a small box down here, which you can then resize, you know, move anywhere you like 
like so you can keep doing whatever you're doing while maintaining contact. Now, for now, it's for video and FaceTime video calls. So I'm over here and uh, you know, you can actually resize this, move this around, and it's a really nice feature. And again, this is something we've seen in a competitor's OS, but it's nice to finally have it on iOS 9. Now, here's another one of those great features that only iPad users will be getting. I envy you. Anyways, so up here on the top bar, there is now a new shortcut bar in the keyboard. So in this example, I'm in notes. If I want to actually doodle real quick, I can do so here. Really nice, add it to the notes and then it'll be right there. So this actual bar up here is really convenient. Now the reason, the actual reason it's here is because of the new gestures inside of the keyboard app. So use two fingers, you can actually move the cursor around on the screen to anywhere you like. So let me actually move it to somewhere where I have text that I can show you. So, okay, see as I'm moving it like this, you can actually move it to wherever you want. Say I wanna start right here, just double tap and then begin moving it over. And now you've selected text. It's become so easy to modify text on your iPad. It just makes sense. It's a large keyboard, why wouldn't you have this feature? So this makes an iPad much more productive. The fact that you don't have to fiddle with the actual on-screen text and can do so easily here, you can go ahead and just select them really easily, text, and again, you can cut it over here or copy it, paste it, anything you want. Typing and editing text on the iPad has become so much easier thanks to this new keyboard. Unfortunately, iPhone and iPod Touch users will not be receiving this. Now, a feature I can't quite show you yet is that news application. Apple has made quite a bit of noise about it, and it's actually the only application to be added in iOS 9. So this new news application is pretty much like Flipboard. It adds thousands and thousands of categories of news into one place with interactive text, interactive photos, videos, everything you need all in one app. And again, I can't really show it to you in a physical format because it's only going to be released at a later time in another version. For now, we just have pictures to go on and what Apple has shown us. But overall, it looks to be a promising replacement for using your Safari to browse for news. It's going to be all in one place, organized, and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Now, Apple has revamped the Maps application in iOS 9. You now have a new category for transit. Now, this will allow you to use public transit in a certain amount of cities for now, but it will be extended in the future, mostly in the United States and in China. Now, using public transit, the good thing about it is that Apple has actually gone to these locations and found the exits, entrances to get you the fastest possible route to the train. So these seconds could make the difference between you missing your train or not. And this is the only Maps application that currently does this on the market. And I don't have it here in Portland yet, but it would be nice to see in more cities sooner. But overall, it looks to be a very promising change. Also, when you're actually searching for anything related to where you are right now, you can actually see there's a ton of these little bubbles and new categories. So say I wanna do something fun. You now have a category for theaters, parks, amusements, sports, all right here on your device. And it's like TripAdvisor built into the Maps application. Definitely a welcome change. Another one I liked is if you actually click on a description, it'll give you more here now. And if the store supports Apple Pay, you will see a little badge down there. Really nice change. The Notes application has seen a huge redesign in both looks and functions. So now it's completely more useful. You can actually add doodles directly into the Notes application. So let me just write doodles or doo-doo, okay? and you have a whole bunch of tools down here. So if you want to use a marker tip, a pen tip, there's a pencil and an eraser, you can add a ruler over here. So that is so cool. I mean, if you really want to get into the details, this allows you to. And over here, you can change the colors of everything that you need right here. Really nice, guys. I cannot believe how well done this is. You will absolutely love using the notes application after this. So alongside that, you can add photos, take one directly. And if you post a link, I don't know why this one isn't bringing up a preview, but it'll give you a little preview and some photos of the actual link right there. Now there's also a lot of fine tuning to be done inside of the notes application as well. You can actually add checklists. So, you know, say anything, uh, go to store. Okay, so when you're done, you just click on it and boom, you're done. How nice is that? And you can add a lot of them as much as you need. And you can actually format paragraphing as well. You can change text. Um, there's a lot of details in here. So it's finally a very diverse, very useful notes application. And this is probably the best I've ever used. So for my last point on this top nine list, it's not really a feature, but it's probably the best thing about iOS 9. And that's stability, performance enhancements, and optimizations. The iPhone 4S, get this, 
devices will be receiving the iOS 9 update. How awesome is that? Every device that currently supports iOS 8 will be receiving iOS 9. Now, not only that, but it gets better in two ways. Battery life is better and significantly better. Not just, oh, we added a couple minutes. There's a full hour on the iPhone 6 and memory size is reduced as well. So that 4.6 gigabyte mandatory install for iOS 8 is now reduced to 1.3 for iOS 9. So for example, on my iPhone 6 Plus, let me just show you right now, I have about, uh, let's say 55.3 uh, capacity, 53.8 available. Now before, this is what it looked like on iOS 8.3. I had 52.3 available. So there is a significant difference in the size. And if you actually go into the app switcher, look at that. You have new cool cards. So a lot of the animations were improved. The speed is just better in iOS 9. Not only is the memory better, battery life better, but it just feels like it's alive again. It really feels awesome, guys, and I can't recommend it enough. So that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the top nine features of iOS 9. I bet you guys can't wait to get your hands on it. Well, I'll be showing you guys how to install it very soon, and we'll be seeing the full version late this September. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you appreciate it, and be sure to check out my other videos, especially on how to install it early on your device. Have a great day. Peace.